Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Many of you likely have some kind of optical drive in your computer, and some of you have uh, an optical drive outside your computer, an external drive, whether it's a CD drive, DVD drive, or potentially now, a Blu-ray drive? Do you have a Blu-ray drive? Well, if it's not in your system, you might consider picking this up. It's the Mercury Pro, and it's compatible with both Windows and Mac OS X, plug and play. It can potentially come with software either for Windows or for Mac OS X, a full version of Toast 9 for Mac OS X, or a set of solutions here uh, from get over the box. Oh, I suppose I can move the box. I've already installed the drive, so it's not that big a deal. But there's nothing in here right now. Uh, it does come with a, a variety of software uh, that is uh, supported on Windows XP and Windows Vista, including a full suite of CyberLink software, PowerDVD, PowerProducer, Power2Go, Instant Burn, Power Backup, BD Advisor. Uh, so this is the, uh, the Windows software, so I could easily plug this into any system and then potentially watch Blu-ray movies on Windows so long as I have a, a monitor uh, that supports it. In fact, they, they note that here on, on this piece of paper saying, hey, well, this is the way you can watch Blu-ray disc or HD DVD movies. You, of course, have to have a, an HDCP monitor, uh, and then they show you how to connect it and what you might need. So, yes, uh, this supports Blu-ray discs, HD DVDs, all the way down. No joke. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to look at it and uh, OWC or Other World Computing, they're the people who make the Mercury Pro, um, they sent this to me as a review unit. I do have the option to buy it at the end of my review cycle, at the end of 30 days, and I am strongly considering it. Uh, I've been looking for a good external DVD solution for my Mac because I keep it behind the, this particular hutch, this desk, and I want an easy way to gain access to a drive, so this is exactly where I've had an external drive sitting, in fact. Uh, this was the drive that I was using before, and it's a, a Samsung TrueDirect. Uh, it's a DVD writer, uh, SE S204. It does light scribe discs, and that's one of the reasons why I got it. Uh, this, you can pick up uh, the th this particular drive. Well, actually, you can pick it up from me. I'm selling it. About 50 bucks plus shipping and handling. Let me know. I'll, I'll even autograph it or put a sticker on it. Whatever you want. I just have to sell it because I'm probably going to be keeping the Mercury Pro for myself. Um, comes with everything you need, the software. It comes with a couple of Blu-ray discs. These are the uh, 25 gig versions. And I guess uh, this media is not that expensive. You know, 25 gig or a 50 gig. Uh, I could back up my applications directory with a great degree of ease. I know I have far less than 25 gigs, so I could throw other uh, data on there. Good to keep in a safety deposit box, you know, off-site. Good backup. I mean, that's what we're talking about. Backup. You can even burn uh, high-quality videos to a Blu-ray disc. Um, the, uh, as long as uh, the software uh, certainly supports it, and they note that in some of this documentation as well, uh, saying that uh, it should be ready uh, for, you know, Toast 9, of course, it comes with Toast 9 if you buy the, the Mac version of this particular bundle. Um, the, uh, uh, of course, I think iDVD is also supported. It's, uh, it's a big box. The drive is, is, is far smaller. Uh, and the nice thing is, too, you've got a variety of connectivity options. Not only is it cross-platform, you can connect by eSATA, FireWire 400, FireWire 800, USB. So it, it's uh, quite flexible in that, uh, in that sense. Uh, they call it a quad interface optical drive external solution, and that it is. It's kind of funny. On the back, they've got a little uh, wireless Mighty Mouse saying, and then they have to note, mouse not included. I don't think there's any DVD drive out there that includes a mouse, and if there was, I don't know if I'd be wanting to buy that. Um, <laughs> Because really, DVDs and mice, uh, two different kinds of peripherals. It does come with a set of cables, any cable that you'd want to use, at least with this particular drive. Firewire 400, uh, a USB 2.0, uh, and an eSATA cable. Uh, of course, I've got the Firewire 800 con cable connected to my Mac so that uh, it, it works. And they do recommend that you use either a Firewire 800 or an eSATA connection if you plan on doing any Blu-ray burning uh, because it's so data intensive. And, uh, I mean, the list of features are, are, I would say, extensive. I mean, probably more extensive than the current DVD burner that you have. Uh, supports all those uh, particular uh, connectors. Uh, supports Blu-ray, HD DVD, Lightscribe. Oh, I love Lightscribe. Um, and then, of course, all the, the DVD formats. Uh, it supports all the way up to a 50-gig Blu-ray uh, discs. Will not support 
uh, Blu-ray movie or HD DVD movie watching on Mac OS X because the operating system doesn't support it, but it will, as I note, support it on uh, Windows. Uh, write speeds, uh, you know, seem pretty I mean, fast than, faster than anything uh, that, that I've seen for Blu-ray. Of course, this is the first Blu-ray drive that I've owned outside of the Blu-ray drive that comes with the HP Touch Smart PC. Uh, this is, of course, the external solution. BDR, BDR dual layer, BDRE, BDRE dual layer, DVD plus R, DVD plus R dual layer, DVD plus RW, DVD dash R, DVD dash R dual layer, DVD RW, CDR, CDRW. <laughs> Goes on and on. And, of course, it, it supports uh, different read speeds. It will support the reading of the HD DVDs, uh, but it won't support the, uh, the writing, it seems. It's actually an LG Electronics GGW H20L that has been enclosed inside of this uh, casing, inside this casing, um, and, uh, you know, it's, it, it works, that's the bottom line for me, is that it just works, you plug it in, and then you go, uh, supported on Mac OS X and Windows, supports all the recording modes you'd expect, disk at once, session at once, track at once, packet writing, variable and fixed, multi-session, uh, I'm telling you, dude, if it doesn't support any kind of of disk that you have, I would be surprised if it, if it was optical. Comes with the instruction manual that you know clearly notes it's an LG drive. Uh, you know you could go to LG's site for support, or of course go through OWC. Uh, I ended up just downloading the uh, Lightscribe uh, drivers from Lightscribe's website. Uh, really easy. Uh, they even give you software, and I didn't realize that Lightscribe had templates on that. Uh, DVD RAM. I don't. I haven't seen DVD RAM in a long time, and I think. Uh, Boy, you'd be hard pressed to find that these days. Oh, it supports uh, CD text and CD extra too. Mixed, uh, it's kind of neat. CDI. Wow. Dang. Uh, okay, so you can buy it right now, and I think I've got a coupon for you. I may be able to save you money, so don't buy it immediately without talking to me first or visiting the corresponding blog post for this at chris.perlo.com because you're going to want to save money on this. You can add it uh, in your uh, your shopping cart for $5.29. So it's a little over $500, but consider what you get. Something that works cross-platform. Blu-ray, movie, watching, as well as burning on both operating systems at least. Uh, a, uh, an external case that will work with just about any kind of connector you want. You can't freak out because I remember the first, uh, the, when I first heard about CD writers and they were a CD writer. Something that would just write CDs, that's all, at probably like one speed, was like uh, $500. So we've come a long way. Of course, that was like back before the days of Windows 95. In fact, that's how I got a copy of a Windows 95 beta on CD, which I still have. It was burned on one of the first CD burners available. Uh, so you're going to want to save money on it. It is a good deal. It does work. Plug and play. Um, if you're looking for the Uber external DVD drive for burning and reading, including Blu-ray, this is the one to beat, and I've been watching for it because I've been looking for a solution like this, and like I said, I'm likely going to exercise the option to buy this myself, so I'm really going to be pushing for a coupon for you. Would really like to save you money uh, you know, on, on getting this. So that's, I, I guess, all I have to say about it. It is going to be running down here, uh, and then, of course, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be backing stuff up. It's important. got to back up. Uh, if anybody else has got any uh, recommendations to make, or if you want to make a bid on my old external DVD drive, and it's kind of pales in comparison to this. This is just, it's kind of exciting. I don't know. It's like there's not anything that I could, no, wait, there's not nothing that I could, you can do a lot with this thing. Well, at least as far as optical media is concerned. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you know you're more than welcome to tell us about your favorite hardware and software at geeks.perillo.com. Maybe you're having problems. Maybe you just love what you've got and you'd like to share that enthusiasm with the world. You're more than welcome to do it there. Then, of course, you're welcome to stop by our chat room, which is typically talking tech. Uh, of course, if you come in here, they're probably talking more about hardware and gaming. But we do uh, ebb and flow uh, with uh, you know various topics throughout the day. And you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, I'm streaming this live video feed in, in conjunction with the chat room. And uh, so you can be a part of this entire experience anytime you want at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.